All right, welcome back to Women's Strength and Bodybuilding, where we highlight beautiful and talented women who compete. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time joining me, the purpose of this channel is to bring you news, stories, updates, results, and commentary about your favorite past and present muscular female competitors. My name is Mark. Before we jump in, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It'd mean a lot to me. Let's talk about Linda Murray. What a legend. Spoiler alert, she still looks amazing to this day. This video was a pleasure to make because there's a lot of information about Linda out there on the web. I mean, she even has her own Wikipedia page, so you know she's made it. I remember seeing a workout video with her, Boyer Co., and Sean Ray, and being super impressed about how strong, feminine, and alluring she was while in contest shape. The points about Linda's physique that truly make her a bodybuilding savant are her proportions. She had extremely wide shoulders that were accentuated by her tapered waist, with her flaring lower body perfectly matching the upper body. Her physique gave the appearance that it was literally stacked on top of itself, complete with a full six-pack of impressive abs, huge legs, and an extremely muscular upper body. Oh, and can we just mention real quick how smooth, clear, and radiant her skin was too? This added to her overall look, like in this photograph. Her smooth and clear skin gives her that shrink wrap look, like her arms are so tight and pumped up that they're about ready to burst. This is in stark contrast to today's competitors, who are achieving a much more hard and grainy look. Even when she sized down for miscellaneous photo shoots, she still looked incredible. So Linda Murray is no doubt one of the most beautiful and talented bodybuilders of all time, if not the greatest of all time. She won the Miss Olympia heavyweight and overall categories eight times tying Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney in the men's divisions. The only other Olympian to beat all their records is Iris Kyle with 10 Olympia wins. But that's a story that needs its own video. Long story short, Iris had a much drier, harder, and rugged physique that might have even done well in the men's divisions. But upon winning her 10th Olympia, the women's bodybuilding division was dropped due to concerns over the masculinization of the female competitors, thus creating a need for an intermediary in this case, Wings of Strength, to step in and save women's bodybuilding. I'll never forget when I learned that women's bodybuilding was going away. I was totally and completely bummed out. Because if you ask me, some of the greatest and most sensational physiques of all time have been held by women, and Linda is a prime example of that. So is Linda Murray the GOAT? If not, she's at the very least the realest MVP because her physique became the gold standard in how women in the sport are judged today. And her legacy is so great because she maintains such amazing size, proportions, and symmetry in combination with an abundance of beauty and femininity. Sound familiar, anyone? I'm so glad that Linda has remained extremely active in the women's bodybuilding community, as well as Wings of Strength, and also as a contest promoter. We'll see you guys at the Linda Murray Classic. Linda is originally from Detroit, and she was very active in her high school days. She was a record-setting sprinter in the 100-meter dash and also a varsity cheerleader. After high school, she went to college at Western Michigan University where she continued as a cheerleader. And she was also voted homecoming queen, so clearly everyone knew how good-looking she is. After graduating with a degree in political science, Linda continued to cheerlead for a short while for the Michigan Panthers in the United States Football League, which was a competitor to the NFL back in the 80s. I love that so many of these competitors were into things like modeling, dancing, and cheerleading before they discovered bodybuilding, so clearly they were very attractive and athletic from early on. So I want to get into Linda's competition history, and in looking at all the shows she did, it's clear to me that she strategized on what was most important to her, and executed her plan to become a champion to perfection. You can tell because in the 1980s she competed in only one or two shows per year, and from the 90s on she did one show per year. This is amazing because it really tells us a lot about her headspace and the dedication she had to being the world's most muscular woman. And I'm sure it's what led to her having a 19-year tenure in bodybuilding, which is super long and uncommon. A lot of competitors today spread themselves extremely thin, doing 5-plus shows per year. And unless you're Natalia Abraham Coelho and able to place first in every show you enter, it wears on these competitors. I admire the fact that Linda took her time and saved her true peak for the Olympia each year. This is yet another story about an amazing woman that knew her body and knew her limits. So without further ado, here's a list of her shows. In 1985, she took fourth at the Michigan State and first at the Eastern Michigan. In 86, she took third at the Michigan and third at the Iron Woman Michigan. 
In 87, she took third again at the Michigan and second at the North Coast. In 88, she won first place at the Michigan. In 89, she placed first and overall at the Junior Nationals and first at the North American Championships. During the next six years, she competed at the Miss Olympia and won first in 1990, 91, 92, 93, 94, and 95. In 96, she took second at the Olympia, placing just behind the legendary Kim Shizevsky. And in 97, she took second to Kim Shizevsky again. After a few years off, she returned in 2002 to take first in the heavyweight and overall. And in 03, she repeated the same success. 2004 was her last Olympia, and she ended up placing second to Iris Kyle. Man, what a career. Can you imagine the heartbreak Linda felt in 96, 97, and 04 after being beaten by one placing like that? That just shows us that she has the heart of a champion, and she'll get right back up again on her road to greatness. And if she was bummed out at all, she didn't stay that way for long, because here's a photo of her lifting with her successor, Kim Chizewski. Linda's enthusiasm for the sport is unparalleled. According to Wikipedia, she now lives in Los Angeles. She still remains extremely active in the women's bodybuilding community and is helping to identify and train new champions. She looks as great and as healthy as ever, especially in comparison to some of her male counterparts. Linda hasn't always gotten the credibility and recognition she deserved. I mean, her dad didn't even want to come to her first show. But as more time passes, I think Linda's legacy will only continue to grow. And people will continue realizing just how amazing this Hall of Fame inductee was and still is. All the best to you, Linda. You truly deserve it. And that wraps it up. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a positive comment. And subscribe for more great women's strength and bodybuilding content.